All right, we've seen the three different methods for solving systems of equations. Uh, so this, this problem here says solve by any method. So let's do, uh, practice that elimination method again. And let's say in, in the last video we got rid of the y's. So in this video let's say, well, let's get rid of the x's this time. In order to get rid of the x's, we really have to have the same number, the same coefficient in front of the x's. One has to be positive, the other one negative, so they will cancel out when we add. Well, wouldn't it be nice if these were both 6x's? We can make that happen by multiplying the top equation by a 2. So when we do that, we'll have 6x, I'm distributing the 2, plus 4y equals 4. Now the bottom equation I'm not going to mess with, so that would be negative 6x minus 4y equals 8. And now when we add them out, or add them together, you see the, the 6x minus 6x, those cancel, or it leaves us with 0. The 4y minus 4y, those also cancel. So we have 0 on the left side of equals. And then 4 plus 8 would be 12. This is not true ever. 0 does not equal 12. When we get an answer like this that is never ever going to be true, there's no way that 0 will ever equal something other than 0. This tells us that this problem has no solution. This is also called an inconsistent system because it does not have an answer. Oh, inconsistent system. Should write that correctly there. So this is an inconsistent system. Now, let's think about this for just a second. If these are two lines and we were to be able to graph them, what kind of lines will never ever intersect, never have a point in common at all? Well, wouldn't they have to be lines that look something like, oh, I don't know, maybe this and this, where they're running side by side, never crossing, never touching. Well, if you'll remember, those are parallel lines. So parallel lines, lines, not limes, uh, parallel lines are actually called an inconsistent system because they do not have a solution to the system. There's no way that they're ever going to touch or cross, so they'll never have a point in common.